Hello guys and welcome back to a new favourites video for the month of February. With it being fashion week this month there's a lot of clothing that I've really really loved so I want to talk you through some of my favourite pieces and also there's a few new pieces of makeup in my collection that I also wanted to show you and talk through and tell you why I really really love them. So yeah let's just get straight into it. I'm going to kick things off with beauty and the first thing being the Zoeva Nude Spectrum Palette. Zoeva have brought out a few new palettes recently and this is definitely one I really really love the most. I think I used this in a recent tutorial on my blog if you want to go and have a look at more pictures of how I used it but this is a 15 pan palette in lots of beautiful nudes as you know I really like my nude colours and my champagnes and my kind of goldy bronzes and this sort of has everything I could possibly need right inside here so it has the champagnes it's got the whites that are perfect sort of inner corner highlight it's got a black if you want to sort of smoke it all up a little bit but it also has some more copper tone red tones as well in there and also a really bright gold so I feel like it's really great for a lot of different skin tones you can create lots of different looks with this and I was really really impressed the pigmentation is fantastic the wearability and the way that they blend on the eyes it's really beautiful so yeah definitely a big favorite this month I think it's one of those that I'll throw in my travel bag quite often and take this away on holiday with me because I'll know I've got lots of different colors in here so yeah I'm really really impressed by this next up as you know I like to tan quite often at the moment I'm not too tanned um, but I'm going to be filming a tanning routine very soon actually so keep your eye open for that but I thought I'd mention two tans that I really really love and I've been using a lot recently um, those being the Vita Liberata luxury tan especially a lot of the Vita Liberata products I do really like and this one is probably one of my faves phenomenal light as air two to three week tan mousse and it does last quite a while this I would say um, maybe not quite two to three weeks but it definitely lasts maybe seven days especially if you moisturize and you scrub your body a lot it'll definitely stay there a little bit longer but I do really really love this one I think the color is fantastic and I just use a mitt to apply it and again the same with the cocoa brown this is a new bottle but I have quite a few of these bottles roaming around in my bathroom I've used this product for a long long time actually I think since my university days and it's just one of those extremely affordable but brilliant products like it really gets the job done it applies streak free um, it's really really brilliant so again I thought I'd mention those two if you're wondering what kind of tans that I use often these two are highly recommended figured I'd throw this in here because it's a little bit random but then again we all use this um, and it's just a deodorant I'm really enjoying the Mitchum 48 hour powder fresh deodorant it's not too girly or over the top in terms of its fragrance which is quite fresh I feel kind of very well protected wearing this it says 48 hour, I mean I would probably still top it up anyway because I think most of us usually do but I just yeah I've been really enjoying using this a lot actually and if you don't like sprays um, it does also come in the roll on form as well but yeah really really liking this at the moment. Then there's some makeup I really wanted to recommend. First up, oh, which should I go with this? First up being the L'Oreal Infallible Foundation. I've got mine in the shade Natural Rose. A natural rose is a shade colour name I would never usually go for because I stick away far away from the kind of rosy shades when it comes to foundations. I really like the more yellow tones, I like to kind of banish any pinkness or you know rosy tones within the face. So when I saw that name I kind of didn't really look at it and it was only when I went down all of the shades and was kind of swatching them that I swatched this and thought actually nothing else is quite right for me here, let's see what this is like and it was so perfect. I would associate this very much with the colour of Nars Deauville which I always say so if you're ever wondering what kind of normal skin colour I am if I not tanned heavily it's just Nars Doville usually and this is very very similar to that but I was so blown away by this I think I saw Susie Hello October talked about this I'm not sure if she talked about the matte version because there is a matte version this is the stay fresh so this is a bit more dewy and brightening um, but I'm not one for matte so I went for this one and really adore it the coverage is beautiful it's quite medium coverage definitely buildable um, but still quite lightweight you don't feel like you're really caked in makeup and again the colour is really brilliant for me so I was so impressed with this and I think it's about £11 a bottle so much more affordable I'm not sure if I've mentioned this before and I'm really sorry if I have but I just wanted to mention it again because I really am smitten with it and it's one of the Tom Ford cream eyeshadows and this is the one in Spice and 
this is just so beautiful if you really love your cream eyeshadows and you're after something that's very long wearing very bright and very pigmented and the kind of shade that people would go like wow what are you wearing on your eyes this is the one for you I think I wore this on my eyes in my in my Chanel and Dior unboxing video and so many of you were saying oh my gosh I love your eyeshadow and it was this it's a Tom Ford Spice cream eyeshadow it really is beautiful it just blends it is literally like a mousse actually and it blends in beautifully but it's extremely pigmented but you can blend it over the eye with so much ease I literally dip into this with a brush and just start working it in position more of the colour in the very centre of the lid and I'll start working it in and working it in with the brush and moving the colour further out and further out until you get a really smoky crease and a much more intense eyelid and it's so beautiful I honestly can't recommend this enough I know it's very expensive for a cream eyeshadow um, as Tom Ford products are but you will literally have this pot for so long and it's kind of one of those now that again when I'm sort of going away I always test how much I love products but how much I take them away with me because I do go on quite a lot of travels so if I immediately throw this into my holiday bag I know it's a good product and this is one that I've just been like yep yeah, that's going with me definitely so yeah love it a lot okay and before I go and wash my hand it's literally everywhere now I thought I'd mention two last beauty products and they're both lipsticks the first one being the more affordable option and this again is by L'Oreal and it's one of their colour exclusives this one being the Naomi Naomi's Delicate Rose and again I'm really loving this colour again I used it in a recent blog post kind of drugstore tutorial look it's very me it's a very nudie pink with tones of coral I'd say so it's almost a little bit peachy but definitely more on the sort of nude pink side the consistency is just really easy it sort of just glides onto the skin really beautifully it has almost a sheen to it as well which again is a kind of formulation of lipsticks that I really prefer. Nothing too sparkly or glittery but with a sheen and a bit of a pop of colour and not a glossy but a sort of sheer wash of colour. That's what I really love and this is really really beautiful for that. Again it's really affordable, I think it's like £7 for the lipstick. I've had this in my makeup purse inside my handbag which again shows me I really love it and I want to take it with me. And the final lipstick option is by Givenchy and it's one of their New Rouge into D Vinyl. It's the Rose Mutin shade. And the thing I love about these is that, as I've seen before about the L'Oreal lipstick, I really love lipsticks that offer this kind of wash and sheer brightening colour. The lips just look bright and very hydrated and very moisturised. This is just very moisturising I guess, very hydrating on the lips and this is a colour I really really adore, again it's a kind of nudie pink shade, not as coral as the Naomi L'Oreal but very very me and I just love the consistency, the consistency is beautiful, the texture, the way it feels on my lips, I can wear this for ages and it doesn't dry out my lips, it just feels very beautiful and hydrated and again it's just one of those super easy ones, get out your bag, throw it on your lips without a mirror and you're kind of good to go. Moving into fashion, the first thing I wanted to mention was this cute little bodysuit. I am kind of loving bodies a lot and you might be a bit sick of it but I just really like them on my figure. I feel they're quite flattering, I feel quite secure in them. I love the fact that a body can be tucked into jeans or leather trousers or anything like that and not have any kind of creases or things riding up. It's just quite slick and flattering. So this is another one that I picked up from River Island. This one is short sleeved though I don't have any other set of short sleeved and it's just you know just super easy to wear again you can just tuck it into a nice pair of jeans very simple top but I really like it and I like the fact that it's sort of got this texture going across it yeah thought I'd mention it like I said because it has been fashion week a lot of the pieces I'm about to show you I wore for fashion week and these are sort of some of my favourites so I thought I'd mention them to you first one being this from Reese this blazer is just so gorgeous I was really drawn to it because it looked very sort of bow man with this double breasted fastening in the navy with the beautiful lapels it just called out to me straight away when I saw it I thought gosh it's very Balmain but obviously at a fraction of the price of Balmain because this is Reese this is still about £250 to buy but I think it's one of those pieces that you would wear time and time again for so many different occasions for very structured shoulders for out to more of a formal effect to a very casual outfit but just in a very cool style so 
yeah I absolutely adore this I had to talk to you about it next type of jacket is this one and again I've spoken so much about the Marge jacket that I have the black jacket and this has sort of become the other one that I wear when I don't wear that one this one instead is more of a charcoal grey and I like the fact that inside the collar it's a bit of a lighter grey because I often pop my collar don't know why I've just done it for many many years I just really like the fact that it accentuates your neck so this coat very similar length to the one that I have from Marge this one has two buttons on it pockets and it's a really wonderful fabric I'm sure it must be a wool a type of wool and this is actually from Joseph from very exclusive and I got it for fashion week it could be a casual and it could be more dressy depending on what you wear it with the next piece is from Topshop and it's a pair of cropped trousers and they are this grey and white stripe this is the kind of trouser I was looking for when I went in for these as I wanted something that was quite so a little bit more roomy something that's almost between a culotte and a cropped trouser and I think these were the perfect choice for that they hang really beautifully off the body um, wonderful with a pair of stilettos like the way I wore them just with some easy black stilettos and again you could tuck a bodysuit into this and again to sort of keep everything very slender and neat tucked into these because it's all about the sort of statement trouser and there's a really lovely fabric great fabric affordable trouser and I really felt lovely wearing these as well and the very last piece I wanted to mention because I wore this and so many of you commented on my Instagrams or snaps about this dress about how much you loved it and I equally adore this and it's from three floor I've worn a few pieces of theirs before and I just really love how unique and stylish and bright and a bit daring this brand is they always have designs and colours that are a little bit more out there and more exciting and the designs are always, always quite unusual. I kind of feel like this brand and self-portrait at the moment are doing some really amazing things. I wore this to a L'Oreal party over Fashion Week and it just goes down into, it's a mini dress with a navy bottom wrap over skirt that goes up into this body which is lace and it's also mesh so I didn't wear this with a bra and I felt really really good in it not wearing a bra because he completely covered with these big lacy pads in navy and this gorgeous um, aqua turquoise which is kind of one of my favourite colours so I adored that and the navy trim down the centre and then also down the back it's just really beautiful I mean you've got you've got cutouts you've got mesh you've got beautiful satin piping you've got lace I just kind of feel like what is not to love about this dress um, it's very out there and not everyone will want to wear these kinds of colours and I have never really worn these kind of colours either before and adored it absolutely adored it so I thought I'd mention it for anyone that saw the Instagram and didn't know where I'd got it from and I think that's it for today's video just a few makeup products and a few fashion products that I've really loved and I thought you guys might be really interested in too so I really hope you did enjoy it if you did then feel free to give me a like right now just a little like button always makes me super happy to see you enjoying the videos also as well throughout March I am working with the BHF the BHF is a charity that I really really support so this month I'm doing Dechox which means giving up chocolate for all of March which as you know it is Easter on the 26th which means uh, chocolate eggs which means that I can't have any chocolate eggs so it might be quite a tough month actually but I really want to do this just to maybe raise a few donations to give towards BHF, the British Heart Foundation. So I'll again, I'll just leave the link down below if you did want to sponsor me and to donate to that, that would be incredible. Anyway, so yeah, really hope you enjoyed this, guys. I will see you really, really soon, and thank you for watching. Bye. Mwah.